Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this short video today, I'm going to show you how to determine the wind direction and wind force for the watch. Well, this is very basic skill for the officer. That's why in this video now, I will show you step by step so that you know how to do that properly. Okay, so let's check it out. So before doing that, you have to get some of the parameters like the heading 077 the ship speed 12 point 12 knots and you get the apparent wind direction and apparent wind speed wind direction 0, 04 0 degree to starboard and wind speed 10 knots okay well as you can see that this is the compass rolls so now I will try to write down here so that you can easy to monitor, okay? So the heading, 0, 7, 7 degrees. The speed, 12 knots. Apparent wind direction, 40 degrees to starboard. And apparent wind speed, 10 knots. So, firstly, I will determine the heading and the ship speed on the compass rows. Okay, so our heading now is 077. So now I will use the ruler to draw the line from center to the course 077. So, 070, 080, 075, 077. And this is our heading, 0, 7, 7 degrees. So the next one, the speed. So with the speed, I will use the, the compass to measure that on the latitude dividing scale. So you can see this one. You can see every small dot here, right? So, so you can make the one dot for two knots or one dot for one knot, whatever you like. Okay, so now we try to make uh, one dot for two knots. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So twelve knots around here. Then I will mark that on the heading line from center. So this is our ship speed, 12 knots. So the next step, I will determine the apparent wind direction and apparent wind speed on the compass rows. Okay, so you have to remember that if the apparent wind direction is on starboard side, you have to plus with the ship heading and if the apparent wind direction is port side, you just minor it to the ship heading. Okay? So our apparent wind direction, 40 degree to starboard. That's why I will plus with 077. So equal 117. Right? Now I will use the ruler to draw a line from center to the cross. 117, 20, 117, it's around here. And this is the apparent wind direction, 117 degrees. Then for apparent wind speed, 10 knots. I will use the, the compass to measure that on the latitude dividing scale. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 10 knots around here. Yeah. 
then I'll mark that under apparent green direction here I'll get the apparent green speed 10 knots so now I will connect the ship speed and apparent wind speed to get the actual wind speed. Okay, I will connect to a this, uh, this point. And you can use the, the compass to the measure the line from uh, ship speed to apparent wind speed. Then you can check that here. So nine knots, right? So I will show you how to get the wind scale later. So the next one, I will determine the actual wind direction. So to determine the actual wind direction, you can use the parallel ruler. Then you can put that on the actual wind speed line. Then, oh, just a moment. Then you drag that to center to make sure that this one is parallel with the actual wind speed line. Then you draw the line. So this one is the actual wind direction, 200 degrees. So actual wind direction, 200 degrees. So this one, south, west, so southwest, southwest here, and our wind direction is south-southwest, right? South-southwest. So south-southwest, or you can check that on the on the compass, okay? So, for the wind speed, I will show you how, how to get that by the scale. You can see, this one, the wind scale, our wind speed is nine knots. So nine knots is between uh, seven to 10, so, the before number is three. Okay. So BF three. Okay. So just like that. Okay, everyone. That's all for me. So thank you very much for the watching. So I hope this video is helpful for you, and. If you want to see more video, please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.